Just after dawn on the 23rd of June 1941, the SS Arrakka was sunk by a German U-boat off the coast of Newfoundland with the loss of all 45 souls on board. This was the first weather ship won by the British Admiralty and showed the importance of marine observations that they would risk these ships and crew in these dangerous waters during World War II. I'm Colum Kramer and I work in the Research and Applications Division of Med Air. I have responsibilities for all the marine data that comes into us. Ireland, as an island nation, is situated on the coast of Europe and battered by these Atlantic storms. It's very important that we we be able to check on these storms and all marine observations from sparsely covered areas are of a huge importance to us. In Met Air, we receive mar marine data from different types of platforms, including gas rigs, lighthouses, moored buoys, and ships. The Irish Boy Network began nearly 20 years ago, when currently a five buoys operate. I manage these buoys and liaise with the other national and international agencies on this project. The buoys are moored to the ocean floor, powered by solar panels. They send in hourly reports by satellite, and the latest type of buoy can also measure individual wave height. And in fact, the M4 buoy measured a, a near 80 foot wave a few years back. Before the buoys came along, we relied heavily on ship's observations, which were performed by the officers and crew. And their, their observations were transmitted by radio to us every six hours. I am the Port Meteorological Officer for Ireland. One of my duties is to visit these ships regularly and check their instrumentation, and in particular their barometers. I will also download their historic files compiled over the previous few months, which can be then forwarded to global collecting centres for ocean analysis and climate studies. We're always looking for new ships to join Ireland's voluntary observing fleet. And if you and your ship are interested in joining, please contact me. Thanks very much for watching, and to all my shipmates, fair wind and following sea.